Hey, it's Ken Lewis. Welcome to Mixing Night. Today I'm going to give you three ways to develop your own sound as a producer. I know a lot of you young producers struggle with either everything that you create is just a little bit too much like all of your favorite things and you're copying too much or you know the other problem is that you can't get the sound that's in your head recorded out so that other people can hear what's up here. I know the frustrations, I've been there, I'm going to give you three ways that helped me get past that. I think they'll help you too. Number one, finding unique signature sounds. I think this is so important to production. Me and Brent dig like crazy for those unique signatures that the moment that you hear it, you go like, oh, that's that song. And I bet you can think back to so many singles that you love and within the first 10 seconds of the song or the first 10 seconds of the chorus, some sort of signature comes in that you've never heard before that you're like, wow, that really caught me. Those are the types of things that you want to find for at least your best productions or the ones that you're going to go hardest with. And if you don't have uh, signature sounds, create them. Sounds are all around us and rhythms happen everywhere. So either create your own signature sounds or go digging on Splice or through your record collection. Find those things that really connect with you and set yourself apart from other producers. A few good examples to create your own sounds. I mean, we all walk around with a recording device. My iPhone has a very high quality recorder in it. So anytime I hear something, especially if I'm traveling and I'm in an interesting place and sounds around me are happening that I think could be uh, signatures, I pull out my phone and I just start recording a voice memo and capture it or a video so that I can remember what was happening at the moment. And when I'm watching it a month later, I get inspired again and I go like, oh yeah, that was that time I saw that choir performing in Central Park, that was crazy. You know, you never know where your sounds are gonna come from. Always be on the lookout, but just make sure that your production has something that nobody else's does. Number two, emulate your idols. So what I mean by that is, you know, when I was a young producer learning my instruments, learning how to produce, learning how to make songs, I would just record cover versions of some of my favorite songs and just figure out how they did each part. So I would have to learn what the drum track was and what the bass line was doing and what the piano part was and how to sing the harmonies. And it informed me so much about how to make a complete record. So I would say first, dig in, emulate your idols, take the skills that you learn from those challenges and then couple that with finding unique signature sounds and you're well on your way to making your own productions. So there's a big difference between ripoff and inspiration. Think of it like this. If I go to France and I look at the Mona Lisa and then I grab my paintbrush and my palettes and I paint a new painting that I was inspired by looking at the Mona Lisa, that's a completely different thing than going and seeing the Mona Lisa, chopping it up into little pieces, pasting it back together and representing it as your own. So you want to make sure that you're not over copying other people and what they're doing. Use what other producers and other artists are doing as inspiration and information that you can then use to make your own productions. Number three, always evaluate your work honestly. One of the best ways to improve your production is to always be able to evaluate and refine your work. You know, sometimes it's really tough. You need to get away from something for a day. You come back and you listen the next day and it hits you completely differently. This is normal. It happens to everybody. But you should always be in this constant state of evaluating what you have, asking yourself, am I done? Could this be better? What parts do I need? What's missing? You know, close your eyes, listen to the song and ask it, what does the song need? And then find within your production where you think you can fill that in. Don't overdo it, don't underdo it, experience will guide the way for you. And you've gotta understand what you're up against. You know, it's hard when you don't know the whole record making process and how something on the radio was made, what kind of time goes into that. But I can tell you that certainly not all songs, some songs come together and get recorded very fast and go out, but the majority of songs take a long time to make. So for instance, it would be a completely normal day for me to spend maybe three or four or five hours recording just a lead vocal and then another three to 10 hours just comping, tuning, refining, picking out the perfect ad libs, moving them around to where I want. 
we could spend two or three weeks on one single and you're maybe spending a day or two or four and wondering why you're coming up short. Some of it is the knowledge you don't quite know how to get there yet, and I'm hoping to help you with that. But the other thing is that sometimes you're just not putting enough work into making a great vocal performance. You know, your first or second or fourth take is probably not going to be the magic one. And, uh, you know, I comp vocals a lot. If you don't know what comping vocals is, look into it. It's super important. Understand, it's not only vocal production. We analyze every single piece of a song, start to finish, front to back, loud to soft, and we really make sure that start to finish, the whole thing is in its perfect place. We've listened, we've tried plenty of ideas, everything has come together well. So that's your competition. If that's the bar you're trying to reach, get to work and put a little bit more time into it. I think you're gonna get better results. Okay, hopefully I've given you three great ways to develop your own sound as a producer. This is Ken Lewis for Mixing Night. Please like and subscribe the channel, and I'll see you on the next one. My YouTube channel is the most badass on the block, and you want to be a member. Subscribe right now. Do it. What? Okay, I saw, I saw you. I saw that. You got it. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that subscription. Peace.